What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor and today is Tech Tuesday. We are doing a quick review of the Skullcandy Mini and Mighty Dime XT True Wireless Earbuds. I just picked these up yesterday on a whim. They were in a back to school section for Walmart. Looks like they've got a scan to get started button. Let's do that real quick. Now these are, you know, AirPods competitors, but they were $23. So you know me and budgets. All right, so it takes you to the info website for Skull Candy, identifying first time setup and pairing. This is all the instructions. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It does have information about the controls. And of course, we are always reviewing these on the basis of production and how usable they are. I don't care about water resistance. I don't care about uh, if they stay in your ear really well when you're running. I don't care about none of that stuff. I'm looking for comfort and overall usability and sound. This is a charging case. I actually really like the design of the case. It has, <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing, I'm gonna do the thing. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it did. So I actually really like how it looks. These are actually the AirPods, or AirPods, the earphones themselves. There it is, geez, that took forever. And then inside you can see they are charging. So let's take this out. Now they do come with extra um, ear gels. I think I might need, eh, maybe not, maybe not. They fit nicely, so comfort should be pretty solid. Let's see, put in both. Uh, it comes with a very tiny, oh my God, very tiny USB cable. It's a USB-A cable and it's universal. It's flippable. That's smart, that's smart. I see, okay, so we'll try it again. It should, okay, put it back in, put it back in. They're magnetically locked, okay, both are charging. So when you take them out, you're supposed to flash blue. Not, no flashing blue. They may need to be charged, so we're gonna leave them in here. 30 minutes as recommended, we'll be back. So just did an edit with the headphones. Solid, um, I kind of forgot they were, actually, honestly, I'm gonna be really honest. I went to take off my like big headphones. That's kind of how it felt. Sound quality, really solid. Comfort, really good. Um, I will say they're not, they're not quite as seat like noise isolating because I'll tell you where I'm staying is near a golf course and, uh, the kids around here, like pick up the loose balls and we'll sell them. So, uh, I'm still very aware that golf balls are for sale is what I'm saying. It's just still fully aware. Cause even when these in, I was able to hear the sales pitches. Nonetheless, uh, sound quality solid. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just record a, we're going to record a quick note here and do a quick record. Like I would say the biggest thing that it isolates is like, um, like a static kind of noise. Like I can't hear the wind right now and there's definitely wind. Can't hear like cars and stuff, but if there were people talking in the room, I'd be able to hear them. Not necessarily perfectly clearly, but like I'd be able to hear them. They fit really well. I actually really like how they, how they kind of like, they don't like stick down too far like the, like the AirPods that I've seen and the, the like round portion back here, like the headphone portion actually kind of just sits in your ear, like the lobe. So you're not like jamming it in. And then you also have a little bit of room to maneuver. Like to, it's gen generally a good comfort. I'm rendering the video that I was editing, so I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that that is rendered completely before I start doing other things like recording audio. This is a recording on the microphone on the headphones. Just looking to see if this would be like a good, you know, in a pinch microphone. If you don't have a lot, if you don't have a good microphone on your computer or your phone. Uh, so this is just recorded through Audacity default settings. It looks like it's at a 100% volume input on the mic. So this is uh, what it sounds like. So I just listened back to it. Not my favorite sound, to be very honest. So this would be an absolute last resort for audio for recording, but the sound is really good and the comfort level is really solid. So I would say for, for production purposes, if you need like a pair of headphones with you and you don't want to have to be plugging an extra cable in, this is a solid Bluetooth headset to be using for editing. Once they were charged, it was pretty straightforward to connect them. Uh, when you first take them out, they will go straight into pairing mode after they pair with each other and you'll have it show up. It's actually called the Dime Black. 
just didn't see that anywhere on the package. But apparently it's called the Dime Black when it comes up in the settings. And uh, when you want to pair it to another device, you turn them off, turn it back on, hold the power button until it goes back into pairing mode. And then I was able to pair with my laptop. So ultimately, solid headset, definitely usable for uh, production, for editing. And I got nothing else to say on the subject. The case, <laughs> the case is real nice. I, I like the little gimmicky thing where you see the actual headphones through the case. Uh, the other interesting thing is the actual rubber tips have um, skulls on them as well, the Skull Candy logo. So that's like a fun little thing. When you put them in, they are charging. You can see the little red light on both sides. And then when they are done charging, the light will actually turn off. I actually like the, I like the case lid for a couple of reasons. One, it has a magnet. So if you just flip it closed, it's pretty solid, like it'll stay closed. But then it also does have a clip. So it will be permanently locked until you open it manually. It comes with a little carabiner attachment, which is nice. Micro USB charging. I don't know, it's 2021. I feel like we need to go to USB-C for everything, but that's just me. Solid set. Link down below as always. If you use that, I appreciate you. That is an affiliate link and it helps the channel out. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.